his foot hit me and kicked me in the bottom of my chin. My bottom teeth slammed up to the top teeth. And that's what fractured my jaw. There was this thing about you getting beat up by Jay-Z's like people. Like, can you, what happened with that? Is that real or people making stuff up? No, that's real. Okay. Um, in a nutshell, Dame and Jay-Z already had beef. Okay. Prior to the world knowing it, right? Uh, being the tender penis men that they are, fighting over women, okay. you know, um, I uh, was working for Rockefeller, mm -hmm. first time working for Jay, mm -hmm. because they were split, but nobody knew. Dame takes me to a Jay concert to film it, and Jay's wondering, like, yo, who's this dude filming? So he sends uh, his little man over to Dame to find out who's filming. He, Dame tell him, yo, that's Choke. He works for us. He work at Rockefeller. You know what I'm saying? His little man go back to Jay, tell him, yo, Dame say he works for Rockefeller mm -hmm. and stuff. Jay's like, yo, I don't care. Get that tape. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I didn't agree to him filming. You know what I'm saying? But... At this point, people don't know. It's Rockefeller, but right. then it's Damon, and then it's Jay. Right. Even though we are both under this umbrella, we not rocking with each other, right? But nobody knew it until that day, right? <laughs> or some may have known it, but I knew right. that day. Right. Because why am I getting jumped and I work for you too, right? So they jumped me to get the footage, to get the tape, the camera. And you were giving it up just on some like... I would have gave it to him if he would have just simply said, came over to me and said, or his man came over to me and said, yo, man, Jay don't want Dane filming the concert, or Jay don't want nobody filming. Yo, could you give us that tape or not film? It would have been that, that simple. These stupid niggas think they got to jump me for the, the camera instead of just approaching me. Like, man, wow. but you know what? We all was young. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a chalk it up to immaturity. Okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? But however, it did happen. One of the dudes tried to kick the camera out of my hand and I was holding it while I was fighting him. You know what I'm saying? And he went to kick the camera. And when he went to kick the camera, I moved the camera. Okay. And his foot hit me in the, kicked me in the bottom of my chin. My bottom teeth slammed up to the top teeth. And that's what fractured my jaw. And I like dropped, the, I let go of the camera to, you know, grab my chin. Mm. And the camera fell, Jay-Z little man, uh, the same one that sprayed R. Kelly with the mace, grabbed the camera, ran out the door, and they all ran out. Long story short, I went and approached Dame after I got out the hospital. He told me it was Jay that did it. Then Jay, uh, uh, manager John Minnelli negotiated between me and Jay. Jay gave me a check. I kept my job at Rockefeller. Mm. I let it go because for me to get millions, which I should have did, and you know, me still being in the street mentality, I didn't want to press charges on Jay Z because right. I was worried about everybody calling me a snitch. Right. Right. Dumb. I was in the world of business. We wasn't selling mm. drugs together. We wasn't partners. I wouldn't have been snitching on him. You know, today in this world, niggas would be like, oh, you snitched on Jay, right? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the claim to fame. Yeah, that would be, yo, you snitched on Jay. So I took the money, continued to walk, f stayed at Rockefeller for years after that. You know, me and Jay had plenty of encounters after okay. that. Okay. And it was just all water under I the bridge. I wonder, did that plant a seed in you to kind of have a little animosity towards Jay? The animosity towards Jay came when Charlemagne, you know, told me that Jay was going to blackball my tunnel documentary. And then mm -hmm. I did the Breakfast Club and then Jay-Z had them take out 20 minutes of the interview because I was talking about him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And once Charlemagne told me, oh, nigga, Jay, you stop your then I know where my resistance was coming from. You know what I'm saying? I wonder what the... I mean, because at this point, it seems like I wonder if Jay's beyond that point, because even our conversation right now that we're having, I wonder if he's like going to really trip about it 
just from my perspective. Yeah, he gonna like, trip about it because he why? just he, they just tripped on these other niggas that the these other guys. I got sorry, y'all know I be saying the word nigga too much. I'm gonna try to cut it out, but. He just tripped on these these other uh, dudes because uh-huh. they did an interview with me. You know what I'm saying? And they like, uh, well, did he lie? No, he ain't lie. But why are you talking about? Why right, you just you just said that? Because yeah. I think, and from one vantage point, it's like everyone deserves to kind of tell their side of the story. And I just wonder why, if that is the case with Jay, why is he afraid of just like people just have a perspective? The, the the industry has no place for the truth. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And, you know, I just had this conversation earlier off camera that, you know, it's it's business, then it's politics, mm. right? Mm-hmm. Jay-Z might be a good businessman, but he played politics with the truth. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This is why you, you ever seen a Joe Button on Drink Champs or you heard Nori on Drink Champs. Mm-hmm. They say something about Jay, they phone ring. Everybody think he been looking, he just can't call my phone. You know what I'm saying? But he calls everybody phones but mine. And we wouldn't even be at this point when I asked him just to have a conversation with me when Charlemagne said what he said. I've been trying to have a conversation with him for years. Let's, let's just talk. You know what I'm saying? But mm. people say, oh, Jay's far gone. He's too gone. I even hear Bleak say that. Jay's mm. too gone. He's far gone. Nigga. What do you mean he's far gone? He's a human. He's he's still a sa- he's still the same guy, with the wig on and without. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm like? Literally a wig. That that's not all Jay's hair, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Stop. A nigga that can't even grow a beard. He got a whole head of like a whole wig. I, I mean a whole. Head I mean of- Jay been, but he been growing it out for some time now. So you tell me them little skinny dreads that started, they morphed into the, that? Come on, man. Like That's, so, that's so, a wild like, accusation, though, for fake dreads, fake locks. You, you, have, you don't look at Instagram and see niggas. You don't see Nori with the new hair? You don't okay. see LeBron with the fake hairline? I've seen those procedures. Okay, come on, bro. Like It's but easier and- with the dreads. That's there's no way. It's easier so with it because you get pieces put in. Yeah, bro, I'll pull up a, a, a gang of videos right now with people giving people women get fake dreads. What are you talking they about? They got the faux locks, but not the. But you see how? Excuse me. You see how stuff is natted up? That's like really detailed. You really took it to like. I'm trying to make sure people think this is real. I think that's Jay's. I think that's bro. Jay's setup. There's okay. no way. All right. There's no way. Um, um, just like these people out here think that that that's a man, I mean a woman in the Big Papa video. Yeah, I know. That's Jay's hair. A nigga, and, and you, and he ain't got no gray hair. He older than me and you. Look at me. And Jay ain't got no gray hair. Nowhere. Man, that's and he got a real stress, stress-free life. This nigga never grew gray hair neither. <laughs>